This is Luigi. What's Luigi's last name? Mario. This is Mario. What's Mario's full name? Well, Mario Mario, of course. According to the 1993 live-action Super Mario Brothers movie, that is. Name, Mario. Last name, Mario. Okay, what's your name? Luigi. Luigi, Luigi? No, Luigi Mario. Okay, look, how many Marios are there between the two of you? I guess it makes sense, they are the Mario Brothers after all. In Melee, the Mario Brothers share a very special attack. Their downward angled forward tilt, or just daft for short. Here's what Luigi's daft looks like. At 999%. The Mario Brothers daft has a set knockback of 1. Set knockback means that the move's knockback doesn't scale at all with percent like moves typically do in Smash games. It's always just... one. Now, attacks with set knockback aren't actually that uncommon. Fox's Shine and Yoshi's Down Tilt both have set knockback, for example, and both are great moves. The difference, however, is that Fox's Shine has a set knockback of 80, and Yoshi's Down Tilt has a set knockback of 100. Multi-hit moves like Falcon's Neutral Air were given an initial hit with very low set knockback so that it can always combo into its second hit. But Mario and Luigi's daft? This is it. This is the entire move. Its combination of literally one knockback, low hit stun, and 24 frames of ending lag make it one of the worst moves in the game. And this isn't some mistake or bug, by the way. This is 100% intentional. It's meant to be like this. Because not only is Dr. Mario's daft completely normal, but Luigi's daft is still like this in Brawl, while Mario's was changed. Meaning they saw both of their dafts during Brawl's development and decided, yeah, this is what Luigi's should look like. Dude, do you want to get like, really high? <laughs> Check this out. Using a band exploit called the Luigi Ladder, two Luigis can go infinitely high using their up special. This exploit works because the weak hitboxes of Luigi's up beat cause no hit stun or knockback. So when one Luigi hits the other with a weak up B, it interrupts their free fall and allows the Luigi that got hit to use their up B in return. The two Luigis then just have to keep interrupting the other's free fall back and forth with their weak up Bs to continue their ascent. The complete lack of hit stun and knockback is also why the two Luigis don't get killed when they reach the upper blast zone, as characters can only be KO'd off the top if they're being affected by one or both. Why is it banned, you ask? Well, in doubles, it can become an unbeatable stalling technique. If a team of two Luigis gets a stock or percent lead, they can perform the exploit to ascend far beyond where their opponents could reach them, and stay there until the timer runs out, thereby winning by means of a timeout. You probably already know that Luigi's wave dash is crazy long, his taunt is the only one in the game to have a hitbox attached to it, and that he's affected by the invisible ceiling glitch a disproportionate amount compared to every other character. Check out my video on that if you want. You also might know that his dash attack is shit. But did you know that it's especially bad because it's missing its final hitbox? Here's what it looks like in Brawl. Every hit before the last is wimpy, with set knockback. It makes sense. These first hits just serve to rack on damage, but the last hit actually knocks your opponent away. But in Melee, the strong final slap just... isn't there. Which means all Luigi has are the wimpy hits. It's worth noting that unlike Brawl, these wimpy hits don't have set knockback, so they actually send your opponents further as their percent increases. But even at 100 plus percent, its knockback is just... embarrassing. 
Maybe the developers intended to have a strong hit in this move, but they messed up the hitboxes somewhere along the way. Maybe they even just forgot to add it at all. And if that's the case, then bravo, Hal. Bravo. There is a chance, however, that this is how it's supposed to be. Missing hitbox and all. I mean, these are the same developers who made this move on purpose. Whatever the case is, thanks for watching.